Hello friends, this video on triangles part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Take one more example. AD is the median and D, E and D, F are bisectors of angle A, D, B and A, D, C. Meet A, B and A, C in E and F respectively. We have to prove that E is parallel to B, C. Let's do this. This is the triangle and this is A, B, C. So we have this triangle ABC. Now let's draw AD. Why? Because AD is the median. Since AD is the median now, BD will be equal to DC. Correct? Why? Because AD is the median. Second thing question says that DE and DF are bisectors of angle ADB and ADC. So ADB is this triangle, this angle. And DE is the bisector. So let's draw this bisector. So this is DE. Correct. So the second thing is DF is the bisector of this angle. This angle that is ADC. The bisector is DF. So let's draw this angle. So DF is the bisector of this angle. And this meet at E and F respectively. We have to prove that EF is parallel to BC. So let's draw EF. This is EF now. And we have to prove EF is parallel to BC. So what we are told, if this is 1, this become 1 dash, this is 2, this become 2 dash. So we are told that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash, correct? Angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash. Also we are told that BD is equal to DC. This is something that is given to us, correct? Now we will start our proof. Now, the question is how to approach. Here also if you see, we are asked to prove EF is parallel to BC. If we can prove that AE by EB is equal to AF by FC, done deal. So let's suppose this is X, this is Y, this is X dash, this is Y dash. So if we can prove that X by Y is equal to X dash by Y dash, problem is solved. If x by y is equal to x dash of y dash, then we can say that EF is parallel to BC. Correct. So let's do this. If you see x by y, let's see what is the value of x by y. So x by y is nothing but AD by BD. Why? Because angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. Since ED is the bisector of angle ADB, I can say that x by y is equal to AD by BD. Similarly, x dash by y dash is nothing but ad by dc. Why? Because angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash. That is, df is bisector of angle adc. So we have got x by y and we have got x dash by y dash. We also know that dc is equal to bd. Correct? So I can rewrite this as ad by bd. So if you see the right hand side, of this is equal to this. So I can say that if I merge this two equations, this is equation 1, let's suppose, this is equation 2, I can say that x by y is equal to ad by bd is equal to x dash of y dash. Or I can say that x by y is equal to x dash by y dash. So if x by y is equal to x dash of y dash, this implies that ef is parallel to BC. Correct? We are told that parallel line, there is a parallel line, it intersects the sides proportionally. So if A E by EB is equal to AF by FC, that means EF is parallel to BC. Let's take one more example. In triangle ABC, D is the midpoint of BC and ED is the bisector of angle ADB. And EF is drawn parallel to BC cutting AC in F. We have to prove that EDF is right one. Everything is omega. So now let's draw the triangle. This is the triangle. Let's name it ABC. Right? This is we have done. This is we have done. ABC triangle we have done. D is the midpoint of BC. So let's take this D. D is the midpoint of BC. This is also done. ED is the bisector of angle A. DB, ADB is this one. So let's draw this. We have ADB, 
Now this is my angle ADB. ED is the bisector of this. So let's draw ED. This is ED. That means this is 1 and this is 1 dash. Correct? Because ED is the bisector of angle ADB. Done. EF is drawn parallel to BC. So let's draw EF parallel to BC. This is drawn parallel to BC. So I'll mark like this. EF is parallel to BC. And this is F. Correct? EF is drawn parallel to BC. Cutting AC in. We have to prove that EDF, EDF is a right angle. So to prove EDF is right triangle, let's draw this DF because then only we will get EDF. This is EDF. We have to prove that EDF is right triangle. Correct. So what we can do? If we assume this is X, so we have to prove that to prove 1 plus X is equal to 90 degree. We also know that if, if this is X, this is Y, let's suppose this is Y. We know that 1 plus 1 dash plus x plus y is equal to 180. Correct? Straight line. 1 is equal to 1 dash. So I say 2 into angle 1 plus x plus y is equal to 180. Now if I have to prove that angle 1 plus x is equal to 90, so if I just, if I am able to prove that x is equal to y, in that case, 1 plus x will be 90. Why? Because 1 plus x is 90 and this 1 dash plus x is also 90. See, I can show you. Till now I can show that 2 into angle 1 plus x plus y is equal to 180. If I can prove that x is equal to y, then this will become 2 into angle 1 plus 2 into angle x is equal to 180 or angle 1 plus angle x equal to 90. So if I can prove that x is equal to y, that means I can prove that EDF is right triangle. Just an approach. One approach how to solve this question. So if I prove that x is equal to y, that means I have to prove that FD is angle bisector of ADC. Correct? To prove that, I have to prove that AD by DC is equal to AF by FC. That's the reverse engineering approach. Right? Now, we know that AF by FC is equal to A by BC because EF is parallel to BC. Correct? Now, with this by this is equal to this by this. And this by this will be this. We can prove this act. So, let's try. So, given is, uh, like given, given is BD is equal to DC, first thing. Then given angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash and EF is parallel to BC. To prove, to prove that X is equal to Y, angle X is equal to angle Y actually. If you prove this, then we can prove that 1 plus X is equal to 90 degree. So if you prove this, to prove this, let's go by a reverse engineering approach. Let's assume this is a, this is B, length of this is, this will be A dash and this will be B dash. So first thing that comes to our mind is, an EF is parallel to BC is, A by B is equal to A dash by B dash. Correct? Why? Since EF is parallel to BC. Now, we have to prove that, somehow that, AD by DC is equal to a dash by B dash. We have to prove this. So let's go by a reverse engineering method. A by B is also equal to A D by B D. Correct? Why? I'll tell you why. Because angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. Since angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash, that means A D is a bisector of angle A D B. So I can say that a by B is equal to AD by BD. Now since BD is equal to DC, I can say that this is nothing but AD by DC. Why? Because BD is equal to DC. Given. Now I know that A by B is equal to AD by DC. Correct? 
Also, a by b is nothing but a dash by b dash. This is nothing but a d by d c. Now, when I say that a d by d c is equal to a dash by b dash, that means from this we can conclude that angle x is equal to angle y. Why? Because if a d by d c is equal to a dash by b dash, that is a f by f c. We can say that d f is the angle bisector of angle a d c. So angle x is equal to angle. Since I have proved angle x equal to angle y, so this is angle x now. So the total angle I get is angle one plus angle one dash, or I can say angle one only because one is equal to one dash plus. Or let me write it here. See, since BD BC is a straight line, I can say that angle one dash plus angle one plus x plus y is equal to one eighty. Correct. Angle one dash equal to angle one only. So this comes angle one plus angle one plus x. Y is also equal to x. So this becomes x equal to one eighty. Or I can say that two into angle one plus x is equal to one eighty. Or what I get is angle one plus x is equal to one eighty by two. That is ninety degree, and that is what I was supposed to prove. That is angle one plus x. That is angle EDF is ninety degree. Now I proved that. The approach I followed was I went by reverse engineering method. I observed that if I can prove that this angle x is equal to angle y. My problem is solved, and to prove that, I was supposed to prove that ED is the angle bisector of ADC. That is, AD by DC should be equal to A dash by B dash, and I have done that. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.